the sunset like that. On my way to Macon, Georgia. Well, it's a little town called Roberto, Georgia. Me and my partner got a little thing trying to open a restaurant over here. And they got the barbie shop going beautiful. This was telling me everything is going great. Loaded with customers now. So God is good and God is faithful. Uh, now we're trying to get this restaurant up and going. We're going to go from there. Hey, it's Saturday morning, y'all. Hey, wake up. Smell the coffee, baby. We can see the sunrise. God is good. Hey, I love you guys. Y'all stay tuned, man. YouTube, YouTube. This is what's up. I got to come way to Georgia to get a haircut. I got to come way to Roberta, Georgia to get a cut. Junior, Junior, what they do, man? YouTube, YouTube. Just the restaurant part. We gonna work on this today. Try to get the electrical done. Ever do some plastering. Need to get all this stuff here out the way so we can have some room to work in this joker. All right, we might as well make it do what it do. You guys stay tuned. YouTube, YouTube. Man, trying to get this place right. Once I get the, once we get this restaurant going, it's a gold man. It's sitting right in the at the fork of a road. And uh, man, you got two two or three different intersections coming in the same route. Lots of truckers, lots of people coming by. Nice town, not too far away, Roberta, Georgia. But I'm working on this joker, man. Trying to get it right. Take a little time, but I'm getting there. Got it all cleaned out now. Here goes schoolboy Abbott and I'm just pulling up. Man, that's reinforcement. <laughs> reinforcement. It's on now. All the way from Miami, baby. They got laws like somewhere around that. Listen to Bernard. I know they got laws. Listen to that guy in that earned shirt. I'm sure they got laws. Mr. Albert in the house. The world greatest. Need to blame it on your, your navigation. Bruh, I, that's the same thing I use. That's the same thing I use to get here. The wall got a scratch finish. Y'all wait till Albert finish that wall. That's my uncle. He, my uncle in the house. He ain't feeling too good. He didn't work. He been working in the woods in the whole week in Albany. Doing roots and all kind of stuff like he's a young jitterbug. That's Uncle School, baby. It's gonna be all right now. Y'all wait y'all see this wall, right? He put a scratch finish on the other about two months ago. Wait till he finished this side. You ain't gonna believe it. I'm trying to get the kitchen laid out. Laid over here. Stove. Yeah. Two it's a grill. That's a grill and a stove. One gonna be a grill and one gonna be a stove. And over here gonna be two saints. Oh, fryers. Two fryers, yeah. That's this wall where we facing. And the fryer's gonna be on electrical too. Or? Okay. Fryer's gonna be electric. No, the fryer's gonna be on gas. It should be on gas, but most of them come electric too, school. So that's what I'm saying. We need to go with either option. Whatever cheaper for us. I know the saints going on that wall there. We're gonna need GFIs in it. What you gonna put right there? 220? GFIs. GFIs. Right, two. That's perfect. In the switch.
Come on, you got corn, B. Hey, he got all grayed up. They ain't big as you think it is. That's Rodney. <laughs> this dude was hanging with us in the Miami. We worked together for a couple years. And I, we ran on two of them inside all big. You know, we, we in making, making Home Depot. Small world, ain't it? Small world. Man, it's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Y'all see that wall? Y'all see that wall? And y'all, this 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 our lunch. This what this what I always bought us for lunch. See what he bought us for lunch? Oodles and noodles. Husband and bread. That's what our boss bought us for lunch. That's our boss right there. That's the boss right there. You should be saying. <laughs> hey, it's nutritious. <laughs> but y'all see that wall? Look at that job, man. I'm going to tell you, Albert the greatest. Huh. When he started doing that right there, that means he know he the man. Yeah, that little knockout right there. Don't worry, Abba fixed that. He don't know he fixed. That's what I say, Abba done fixed that. Man, look at that wall, bro. You never know that wall wasn't ever there. We framed that out and built that thing, boy. This restaurant gonna be a blessing to lots of people. You'll see. Like he know you saw. Okay, I'm glad you Don't worry, don't let no fool you. Yeah, that's all right. You don't worry yeah. about it. He ain't no killer. He just your mind. He got a soft mind. I ain't gonna worry about it. <laughs> Running a new box in here. Self-braided metal screw. A self-braided metal screw. Hey, you know what? Look at that, man. That's a bad boy there, boy. Look at the walls. That's the master. Look at that wall there, boy. Like a baby butt, you'll never know. That's a whiner. That's a crab baby. <laughs> well, we got no, we can't because we gotta still close that. The I, box I covers the top. this home people. Oh the yeah, top. you can. You right. You right. You right, Junior. Every little bit gonna make it happen. Yeah, but you know, we getting there a little bit at a time. It's called progress. As long as we making progress, y'all seen these walls when we first started? Got the walls covered on the outside. Schoolboy got the electrical running. Hey, we doing what we doing, schoolboy? I want to say this on camera, man. We appreciate you, bro. Thank you. We really do, man. We couldn't do this without you, man. Thank you so much. That's why I'm his favorite nephew. Hey, I, I get one sheet and put up a date by the time y'all get back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he could drive all the top ups, can't he, school? Yeah, 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 I can get the top. I can get the top off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know. I know. You got two sheets there, two sheets all the way around. Look, okay, we got the boxes mm -hmm. in. Electric, we got the new breaker box in. Romex rent. Now I gotta run out of drywall. We getting there. Slowly but surely, we getting there. Dude, give me some square feet. I can might be in front of down in Miami real cheap. Laminate all this whole. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it. And put some nice towel. We, put some, we gotta put some towel in the kitchen because we're gonna be, you know, yeah, know lots of traffic. Now I wish we could have put a drain you know, in the middle of the floor right here. You know, I, that 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 don't go that don't go on that. It's going crazy, but then it go again. It ain't square. Okay, well. Come on, Bernard. I'm cut you here. Let me tape you up. I got you, bro. Come on, Evan. I got him. Come on, sit sit right down. Sit down, Evan. Let me practice on you, Evan. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. Fishing in the hood, baby. I'm just on my way back to Mary, going, headed back home to Mariana. Man, I miss my wife, but I dropped off, dropped off from Mariana on Friday, uh, Friday night. Well, now I left out early Saturday morning, about three o'clock in the morning, coming over to Roberta, Georgia, 
work on this restaurant, me and my partner, Ralph, have over here trying to get going. And I'd be riding by myself, I do a lot, so thank you, man. I, hey, sometimes you need a little quiet time to get by yourself and just think things out and just think to yourself, man. I was thinking, sometimes we get so caught up in what we don't have, we forget about what we have. Might sound kind of crazy, right? But we get so caught up in what we don't have and and, and we, we forget about the things that we have and, and we didn't join the things that we have. You be so busy looking around what everybody else doing and what everybody else got. Man, just stay focused on what you doing and what you got. I was thinking every morning I get up, man. You know, my, my biggest competition is Demetrius, myself. Every morning I wake up, I look in the mirror, I say, man, I'm gonna be better than I was yesterday. I try to do something, I try to succeed better than I did the day before. So that's how life could be, but we get so caught up looking over. That's why the Bible says, don't cover this on your neighbor. We, we be so busy looking at what our neighbor got, we forget what we got. Man, it's something, you can't worry about what people got, what people doing. Just focus on you and your family, man, enjoying your family, enjoying life. Man, I don't care if you drive around in a, a, a 1900 Pinto and your neighbors got Teslas and Mercedes and all that stuff in their yard and you driving around in a beat up car, but your beat up car paid for. You don't got no car note. See, we don't look at stuff like that. We looking at our neighbor, oh man, they ride around and they got a brand new Benz, but you don't know what they, what they paying for that Benz, bruh. Them jokers came forward to miss one day of work. They so stressed out trying to pay for all that stuff, man, to they, to they like, wow, they can't afford to get sick. That's crazy, right? They can't afford to get sick for two or three days, they'll lose everything. But you got a car that's paid for. So something do happen in your life, you think, well, at least I know they ain't coming to get my car. Your car paid for, it might not be the prettiest thing out there, but it gets you from A to B, that's all what count. And then Emma's like, man, I, mean, I thank God for my wife, man. Bruh, I'ma tell you something, man. We can eat Philly Me Young, or we can eat hamburger and still be happy. I don't care if my neighbors got lobsters on the grill and Philly Me Young steaks on the grill. Man, me and my wife will put two hot dogs and two hamburgers on the grill and be just as happy. Life is about being happy, is being happy. And life is about making the best out of nothing. See, I, I grew up maybe a little different from a lot of people. Some of y'all know my story. I grew up in Miami and PSU projects all around Lincoln Field, 60 seconds free. I went to Charles Drew. So I know about growing up hard. I know about growing up not having things, but the little things that we had, we cherished it. I'm for real, man. The little stuff that we had, man, we grew up in the projects, man. We might've grew up in the projects. We didn't have everything that everybody else had, but what we had was the best that we, my, my parents could do. And we learned, and my, you know what? We learned how to appreciate things. And that's what's happening now in the world. People don't appreciate stuff. People don't appreciate no stuff, man. People just, they don't. They don't appreciate it at all. And and, 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 we, and gratitude, and you gotta have gratitude in life. Man, nobody got no gratitude. It's out, man, gratitude is out the windows now. Nobody don't appreciate nothing, no gratitude. And people take everything for granted. But every morning you wake up, man, you thank God for life. If you got a job, Lord, I thank God for this job. Because some people looking for work and can't find work. If you got something in your refrigerator, man, thank God for whatever I got in my refrigerator, man. And you make the best of what you got. Man, it's like, yeah, man, this, we in a mixed up crazy world. People that's single, they praying to get married. It's people that's married praying to be single. So that's what the Bible said, whatever, whatever, whatever condition you in, whatever state you in, be content in where you at. Just be content, man, it's gonna happen. Even with me, man, you know I like to keep it 100. Man, something I get so caught up uh, on, on things, man, and things I don't have and things. And something, and then sometimes I gotta, like the day I'm riding by myself, I got four or five hours to ride. I'm thinking, I'm talking to God, and I'm telling God, Lord, you know, what's going on? And the spirit hit me like, bruh, you're blessed. You know, I'm driving around. I got a couple of cars. I got the house. I got, I got a couple, of, got some little stuff. And I'm thankful for that. And we people, I don't care how much you get, you're going to always want more. But I learned about one thing about life. I don't care what, man, I don't care what you got, man. You could be the richest guy in the whole world. And it could be a poet, the, po the poorest guy in the whole world. When them two guys die, they're gonna bury them six feet deep. And 
And after two days, them body gonna stink the same way. So it don't make a difference what you got. All that stuff is vanity. Material stuff is vanity. And we as humans, we get so caught up on material things that we really forget the, the things that's very special to us. And the most special things to us is a family. It's your family. I know I, I got some friends right now, man. They got big, beautiful homes. They got beautiful homes. I mean, six, seven bedrooms, three bathrooms, four car garage. I know, I know some people got some good stuff, beautiful stuff. And that's just what it is, stuff. But in marriages on shambles, they, 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 they don't almost talk in the house. They walk through the house that grunt fist, just grunting. Hmm, hmm. Ain't no conversation. They just, hmm, just grunt at each other. That ain't that ain't, that ain't how I want to live. It's more than life to that. I want to. I want to. You, you gotta want more stuff than just. You gotta more, want more in life than just stuff, man. It's more to life than just stuff. And gentlemen, I want to encourage you today, man. Men, I always gotta encourage my brothers, man. My brother keepers, man. We gotta be each other keeper, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be all right, bro. This message for somebody out there today, man, bro. You about to have a break, bro. We reach you know, a rope break. You reach past the break and grab on and pull yourself up, bro. Reach past the break, bro. It's gonna be okay. This too gonna pass. Nothing gonna last forever. Don't quit, man. Don't give up. It's somebody right now, man. Some guys right now ready to walk away from they 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 home and walk away from their marriage, man, bro. Hey, tough times don't last always, but tough people come out of tough times, bro. You gonna make it. You gonna survive. You watch what I say, bro. You gonna survive if you stay there and do what you gotta do, man. Take care of your family. You know you're doing the best you can by your family, man. God gonna bless it, bro. I'm for real. God gonna bless you, man. But it's it. We gotta go through things in life. I read. I was reading last night while I was in the hotel room by myself. I said I just opened the Bible. When I opened it up. Guess what I came to? Joel 14 and one. Joel 14 and one. It say a man born of a woman is for a short time. And it's, and it's full of trouble. I say, my God, look at that. That's scripture. That's what script. That's what. That's what the scriptures say. A man that's born of a woman is only for a short time. We only promised three skulls and tens. That's seventy years. And it's full of trouble. So I'm gonna tell you, bro. Tough towns don't last always, but tough men's do. You gonna get past this, my brother. Hang in there. Stay encouraged, man. God bless you, man. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, you pray for me. I pray for you. That's what we need to get back to, man. Praying for each other, man. And, and, and men's praying for each other. And, man, they, they don't make you soft. They, they ain't make you funny. Because you're praying for people. You, you're encouraging your brother and you're lifting them up, man. That's what we need to get, get back to, man. And call a, call a brother, man. Just encourage him. Let him know, man, it's going to be okay, bro. And if you can help him, you help him as much as you can, man. You don't worry about what people say, man. If you can help somebody out, man, help them out, bro. Help them out. That's what the world need now, man. We got away from that old stuff, man. People ain't helping nobody no more. Everybody full of greed, man. Nobody don't want to help, man. Nobody don't want to help nobody no more, man. But if you can help somebody, man, you help them out, man. Hey, I love you guys, man. And I'm here to tell you, man, better days are coming, my friend. Hang in there. I love you, my brother. Take care. Yes, sir. And I tell you what, while you complaining, there's somebody right there sitting back and say, boy, I wish I had his hand. You complain about what you got. There's somebody begging to be in your position, bro. That's what I'm telling you, man. Don't complain. Just walk through life, man. Everything. I'm telling you, everything got a way of working its own way out, man. I'm serious, man. I, just, I don't know why I'm on this today, but... I just want to encourage you that everything's going to be okay. And it's going to work out, man. You know, like I say, I always keep junk 100. I go through things, too. And I and I just start, you know, I thank God. That's, the, that's why it's good sometimes to get you some me, me time. Ain't nothing wrong with getting you some personal time. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I want to tell you this today. There's nothing wrong with getting you some time, man. Put some gas in your car, get in your car, and just get on the highway and just open up this ride, man. And begin to talk to God and tell God what you're going through. He already know what you're going through. Sometimes he just want to hear it. He just want to hear you say it like a father. He know you need some things. He know you need some shoes. He is waiting for you to say, man, dad, can I get some shoes? 
He already know you need him. He, he gonna get them for you. It's the same way with God. Sometimes you ride in there, you have a chance to think. Like, you, just, you have time to just to think and get to yourself and get people out your ear. You know, and just think. You and God go one on one, man. Prayer, I don't care. Prayer still work. I don't care what you're going through. I, I want to let you know that prayer still work. God still answer prayers, bro. I'm a witness of that junk, man. So whatever you're going through, man, just be content. Be patient. You know what I'm old grandfather clocks be like? Tick tock. Take your time. Take your time. Now they got your new clocks. I go. Tick, 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 tick. Man, just take your time, man. Stay in your lane. You watch things gonna happen for you. And to be appreciative, whatever you got, man, thank God for whatever whatever you have, man. I'm telling you, because it's some people be like, boy, I wish I had this shoe. I wish I had this hand. I cut my ass off. It's some people envy you. And you and man, it's people envy you. You got it's some people you don't, they don't got half you don't got half of the stuff they got. And they envy you. Some people envy you your, your, your relationship with your wife, your marriage. Some people envy your kids. Some people envy you how you just approach life itself. Some people just envy your, your happy spirit, your go lucky spirit. Man, I tell you, man, I'm gonna enjoy life. I ain't gonna let nothing get me down. I'm gonna keep it do I'm gonna keep it doing what it do, baby. And uh, hey, things I don't have, I ain't gonna worry about. I'm just gonna worry about the things that I do have, man. I'm gonna enjoy what I got, man. And I thank God for my little shorty. Shorty, I thank God for my wife. That very understanding. Man, everybody going through something, man. I'm gonna tell you, you ain't gonna always in life have that minus touch where everything just work out for you good and you loaded and you got man, it gonna it gonna come some times in your life where Hey, you gonna have to tighten your belt up and say, man, I'm gonna make it do what it do. We all get there. But well, you got these people with this persona and got this big old smile on their face and like they got like, 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 they, everything, their whole life is Kool-Aid and ice cream. Man, that's, that's a smoke screen, bro. Don't believe that junk, bro. That's the, that's the hype. Everybody going, everybody go through something in life. Everybody going through something. Right now, everybody going through something in life, man. This world is in turmoil, man. People going through things, man. And, but people, it's how you wear your smile. It's how you present it. It's how you come out the door. So, hey, man, I want you to tell you, I want to tell you, man, to encourage yourself and everything's going to be all right. I promise you, man, everything's going to be all right, man. Get your fishing pole, man, to take off. You see my rod? I got, I got my rods back over there in the corner. You see them over in the corner over there against the, against the window? I'm looking for a place to stop on my way going back home. I wish I could find me a place to stop to go fishing on my way home. I'm going to show them, stop and try it. So I want to encourage y'all, man. Let me, let me stay focused on this road. Hey, but I love you guys, man. That's what we're here for, man. We brothers keep us, man. The Bible says you take and the shopping and. So it takes, it take, sometimes you got to go through things, man. Some, some of you going through some things right now. Or some of you been through some things. You done came out. So God makes you a gift to encourage another brother. Man, another brother know, man. Hey, bro, I've been there, man. I've been there when I had two kids in college. I've been through there. I've been there when my kids was little, man. I thought I'd never get out. I never thought I'd, I'd come out of uh, 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 poverty. But look at me now. So that's what we got to do. We got to encourage the young, the young brothers, man. You got young brothers that are 25, 31, in their 30s, in their early 20s. They don't, they don't know. They ain't never been where we've been at. Now God made us old, old G's and uncles, man, to these young guys, man. Encourage the young guys that everything is going to be okay. Hey, it's, uh, my lights went off. Let them know. Yeah, my lights went off before, bro. They ain't the first time. Yeah, I had big notes on my doors, but I came through. Look at me now. So you got to encourage them to know, man, you're going to go through some things, man, and you're going to come out. Hey, I love you guys, man. You guys be good.